Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves are on this journey to love, to more and more unconditional love, and to back ultimately to your divine counterpart, the one that lives in your heart. And uh, the message that I'm going to share today is around the healings that I've done for some people actually just this morning and what I saw and what I'm feeling at the moment. So I'm feeling this kind of deep sense of like a bit of sadness um, because not being together and kind of a bit of regret for the time, for the days that they that uh, have been missed. And so I'll tell you, so I felt that this morning and then um, I've just done a healing for a lady and her twin. And what I saw was straight away a huge field of red roses. And I saw her twin picking uh, the roses and putting them in a basket. And um, I asked him, what, what's he doing? And he said, I'm picking a rose for every day that we have not been together in this life. And for every day that we will be together. And uh, the row, uh, the field of roses just kept, like no matter how many he was picking, they kept, it didn't empty the field. You know, the field was just still more and more red roses. Which was all about showing that the love is infinite. So you could carry on picking roses for infinity because you have been together always. And... Um, I think there has been this real set, so like I, I know that everyone is experiencing huge synchronicities and signs and messages um, and that's, you know, all of those things and it was really lovely because it was such an amazing way to show, um, I feel, you know, I feel regretful for all, I want to give you a rose for every day that we haven't been together and every day that we will be together. Hugely symbolic that the field of roses never stopped growing. It was just more and more roses and more and more roses. And so um, the message today is this is a rose from your twin to you. Because there is this huge sense at the moment. Uh, there's, I woke up this morning and it was like, oh, I feel a little bit sad, uh, you know, that we're not together today um, in the physical, right? And also this very sort of strong kind of like wanting to experience it in our physical bodies. So this sense of I really want to touch you. I really want to feel you. I want to have my skin against your skin. So uh, and the song that came through for her was um, I want to lay you down on a bed of roses. But tonight I'll have to lie on a bed of nails. So uh, again, so meaningful around that is that, you know, we are, you know, all, you know, basically clearing through all of these energies that come on a collective level as we rise up and up and up in the love vibration on this journey. And the second one that I did um, was I saw them as stars and um they went from like being and i felt uh you, if you can imagine a soda stream uh a soda stream when you put a soda stream bottle in it goes bubbles up right and i felt that energy sort of bubble up from my feet all the way up over my head and i see a soda stream and then i see stars and then they come together it's like a sparkler and uh, it was basically about remembering their star seed essence. And then they kind of exploded and it said, uh, when you come together, you make your own galaxy of stars. And again, incredibly powerful. The song that came through was Lucky Star, Wish Upon a Star, um, and Fireworks by Katy Perry. All of them, you know, amazing. Um, there has been also this sense of having quite a power struggle between uh, the a power struggle between the divine feminine and divine masculine. If you you know all those energies within you, because we all carry both. And uh, this next one, I see them like it, old fashioned times, like you know when you're going to do you hold a gun and you put your back to each other, and you walk away and the, and it's about I can't remember what the a shoot I don't know what it's called I can't remember. But that was symbolized, but basically when they went, both went to shoot the gun, there was no bullet. So there was blank. 
And so this was about, so the message behind that was about trusting. So there was this power struggle that they, they weren't going to trust, that they couldn't trust each other. But actually, when they shot the guns, there was no bullet in there anyway. And it was basically saying that the bullet is the, is that you, they are the guns and the bullet is the third energy, the trinity. And so um, they can release their, their fear around trust, basically. Again, hugely, hugely powerful symbology, because I was thinking, what is going on? Why am I seeing them doing a, why am I, I can't remember the name of it, like a heist or a shootout or something. But anyway, then it made perfect sense when they shot and there's no gut and there's no bullet. I was like, oh, right, okay. Uh, it's about trust and about power. So uh, that would be my recommendation for today because those are the things that are coming up. So there is this like real sense of like, oh, I just want to touch you. I just want to hug you. I just want to feel you. Uh, I'm sorry that we're not together today. That's one and then the other one is this bit of power struggle and about trust in, you know, basically trust that you're going to make this happen, right? And so that was the two things. So again, really powerful, like kind of visuals. The other thing is about, man the other message that I wanted to say was about manifestation and how, you know, basically believing in, and not really know I guess the power is in believing and not knowing how it's going to happen so for example um I do this YouTube channel I've never you know I only I set it up basically because I had a reading from Hazel from Illumin Souls I would highly recommend her I did her a healing and on the back of that, she said, oh, well, you should set up a sh channel. And uh, actually, it related to the rose. And so, um, so I did. And I had no expectations. I had absolutely no idea, really. I just set it up and started talking about the healings that I was doing for people. And, uh, and then, <laughs> it may seem ridiculous, but... I've just always, it's just sort of grown and I've, I've just really enjoyed doing the healings for people and the books that I do and the channeled messages and everything that just sort of comes, has come from it. It's been amazing. And so I'm hugely grateful for Hazel to put, you know, this is the thing, you get people come into your soul, you know, that, that basically come in this lifetime to help you. Well, I had, uh, I also do Airbnb and, um, a couple of guests came yesterday and they were young YouTubers and they basically do travel vlogs and they were saying, oh, um, we really want to get to be monetizing our channel. And I was like, oh, right. Okay. I'd, I'd never thought about that. And uh, anyway, they were like, oh, yeah, you need a certain amount of views and also a number of watch time hours. Okay. So again, I'd never even looked at that. Didn't really know anything about it. <laughs> just shows how totally, yeah, I just, you know, I was just happily making videos and getting people coming to me for healings and readings and channeling letters and all those lovely things. And I was creating books and it was been amazing. But anyway, so yesterday I thought, oh, well, I'll just go and have a look and see how many views I've had. And so this is a huge shout out for you guys. But actually, everyone that follows me, everyone that comes to me for healings, readings and channeled letters, and everyone that is joining the crystal grid that I do, because <laughs> this is going to spin. I mean, it spun my brain out all day. I just was like, what? So I've got over three quarters of a million views. And over the time period that I've had this channel ro running, get wait for it because yesterday's number was three three three. Is three 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 hundred? I think it was either thirty three thousand watch hours or three hundred thirty three thousand watch hours. And I, uh, hang on, it must be thirty three thousand. But anyway, it was three three. Now, just as I said that, 3-3 three, three on the clock as well. I mean, brilliant. So 3-3 three, three is the Ascended Masters. Of course, it's that there are, you know, that you are protected on this journey. There is absolutely no doubt about it. 
and so I just thought it was amazing I had absolutely no idea whatsoever and so it was really 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 incredible it gave me such a buzz and so that's the thing you have to what I've learned on this journey and since going on this